All right. Hopefully this is working now. Um, so this is for uh, the eleven thirty exercise mm -hmm. um, on the twenty fourth, and so this is the second module. <clears throat> Okay, so second module, we'll do something similar to the first one, but we'll add the resistance component, which is the band. So we can do things like the wall sits. So we go into the wall, same position as the first module, but now we're assuming everyone knows the position. Neck, right, relax, the chin tuck, shoulders back. And then we can do the waiter tips for the external rotation exercise. So we show them this one, you know, like one second out, and then slow in, so three seconds in, one second out. So we go through rounds of this one. We can do at 90 degrees across the chest. So different, obviously a different plane of motion. So we do those, so that's one, two. And then we can also tie it up into a little loop. And then we can go onto their forearms. Like so, back against the wall. Again, get them back in the posture, 90 degrees, opening this way, and then closing. Oh, yeah, and if you can comment to uh, the other trainer what they should be saying, too. Yeah, yeah. so um, during this whole process, I would say the training-wise, it should focus on the cadence. So, like, that one second out, three seconds in, keeping that rhythm going, getting everyone, you know, motivated, pumped up to finish, especially towards the last round, last sets. Um, and then making any comments and just... You know the importance of it you know some little tidbits here and there and then then you'll be coming to yeah and what my job will just be going around and kind of nitpicking at everyone's posture so if someone's shrugging or they're offset i'd go in and correct them and make a comment about what that, why that's important and making kind of a extra effort to make sure that everyone's doing it right so. okay um and then how many how many sets in reps same thing we'll probably do three three of ten okay three yeah three sets of ten i think that should fill up the time and then what else we can do? We can do those guys. We can start doing so these guys too. So we have one, two, three. Then we can go kind of start working on diagonal patterns. So if they're here, this is a D2 flexion pattern. So they hold it here. They can start kind of going up this way. So one second up, three seconds back. So like this one, and then obviously switch. I'll do the opposite side. So that's more of an advanced one. So that'd be towards the end of that module, transitioning to module three, where there's a lot more of the diagonal patterns and stuff like that. Okay, yeah, I'll bring another video.